Okay, we're going to see now how to produce the Hello World example in APL. Here we have a session, we have the development environment, we have a clear workspace, the workspace is where we work. And usually in APL, if you execute an expression, for example, 2 plus 2, APL will compute the result, and if you don't assign it to a variable, it will simply display it in the session. Here, 4, fine. If you just have a very, you can have a very complex expression, or you can have a simple one too. For example, I can write the number 7, APL will compute 7, plus nothing, it's 7, we don't do anything with it, displays it back, that's fine. Works with strings too, for example, I could have uh, ZZZ, nothing is done with it, it displays it back. No, of course we can do hello world, and since we're not doing anything with it, it displays back. No, that was easy try doing that in some other language like Java. But Java is different. Java is a compiled language. You need all kinds of you need you do you need to do all kinds of things and compile it and eventually you end up with an executable program. Well we can do that here too. For example, I could take this workspace, produce an executable and say execute whatever is to be done here. In this case display the hello world uh, string. Now to do that we have to understand that when a workspace like this one here is loaded the first thing APL does is to execute the context of the contents of a special system variable called quad LX. In APL all system variables start with quad this square here called a quad. And LX, quad LX is the system variable that holds statement and expression to execute when the workspace is loaded. In this case, we're going to put in it to execute some variable called text. Now, at the moment, text contains nothing. If we ask APL what it is, it says it's a value error. This hasn't been defined yet. But what we can do is take our string there, and now text is defined. If I type text, it's ready. It's there, and APL displays its contents. Hello world. Now, what we need to do here to be just like Java, is to produce a export the workspace. We're going to call it hello world and we're going to put it into, I have already put it in there for you, we're going to put it into TMP. We tell APL that this is a console application so that it will display something in, in, in the session into the shell environment. We save this and because it was already there we want to replace it and in this case, now it's been done properly. Now, if we go now, if we ask for the Hello World program, it displays Hello World. Now that was easy. 